Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to illustrate how you can set up CDNFI with a cPanel hosting account. The first thing we need to do is add a new resource on our CDNFI dashboard. So we'll click the add new resource and in this case our host name is going to be cdn.demo123.org and the origin is going to simply be our top level domain when in this case is demo123.org we don't need SSL support we can then go ahead and click on the check mark and create the resource and that will be automatically added to your account and rolled out across the edge servers it's important to note the resources can take up to about 10-15 minutes to start working across all of the edge servers so if it doesn't work straight away don't worry just give it a few minutes once we've created the resource we can go and click on manage and what we need to do is we need to copy this CNAME entry into our clipboard. We can use this CNAME record on its own, but if we want to brand the CDN to our website, which is what we're going to be showing you in this tutorial, then you'll need to create a subdomain, which is CDN in this case, on cPanel. So let's go on over onto cPanel then, and we'll log in with our standard username and password. And then once we're logged in, we need to edit the DNS settings. And the quickest way to do this is just type DNS into your find box and you'll see there's two options. We've got simple DNS zone editor and advanced. The simple DNS editor is absolutely fine for what we need to do today. And if we scroll down, we'll see where it says add a CNAME record. The name is simply the subdomain which we selected earlier, which in this case is cdn.demo123.org. And as you can see, it automatically completes the second half. And the C name is the value which we copied into our clipboard, this long domain here. And just to clarify, you'll find this under the resource when you've created under resource detail. We need to make sure we copy this, obviously making sure there's no spaces or anything else at the beginning or end. And once we've done that, we can click add C name record. This will then create the DNS entry for our domain. And as you can see, it has successfully added that record. It's important to note the two things. First of all, DNS settings aren't always instant. Um, generally speaking, you'll notice it should start working pretty quickly within sort of 10 minutes or so. However, if your ISP's DNS settings are slower to update, it may take a while for it to propagate and it may take up to 24 hours for this DNS setting to start working. But that's in a very rare case, it normally is much quicker than that. The other thing to point out that this tutorial is assuming that you are using a web host's DNS. So if you're using the name service for your domain name, which points to your web host, the ones they've given you, then you'll likely be using the cPanel DNS settings. Alternatively, if you're setting up your DNS via perhaps your domain name registrar, such as GoDaddy, um, you'll need to edit the records on their end rather than through cPanel. So all is well. We have now created the CDN hostname on our control panel, and we pointed it so it pulls content directly from our top-level domain, demo123.org. And we can then begin integrating it into our website, which we're covering in another tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. My name's James from CDNFI, hoping you have a fantastic day.